Hey friends, welcome to the new hot news clip. We got some good information for you today. Actually, this is mostly just rumor, so we can uh, we can take it for a grain of salt and then we can uh, discuss it the way that it actually is. So there's been some information floating around on the internet indicating that it is possible that Intel won't be producing its own GPUs, which seems unfathomable because, I mean, they produce their own CPUs, they produce their own modems, they make Wi-Fi cards, they actually own a fabrication facility, several of them to be specific, and why wouldn't they be able to just make their own graphics cards? I mean, that's probably part of the whole point of starting to do it in the first place, is that you're gonna do it in-house. Well, apparently, uh, because Raja Kadori actually ended up visiting Samsung just the other day, there's been some indication that people are, are thinking that Intel is gonna go with Samsung for production of their, gener their next generation of GPUs, Project Z. It is possible that Samsung could do it. I mean, they are the number one semiconductor business in the world right now, but a lot of that is thanks to the DRAM. They haven't really shown that they're capable of making GPUs at this point. I'm not sure of them making GPUs for any other company uh, besides maybe their own like SOCs for the Exynos stuff. But other than that, like it would it would be a huge leap for Intel to uh, go to Samsung. But I mean, it does seem like that's the basis of this rumor is that there's a tweet from Raja Kadori at the Samsung building on the day that Samsung announced that they're working on five nanometer EUV lithography. So it kind of seems like Raja Kadori was there to kind of like check and see and if it's a viability option for them to use them. But it also could just be that it's a partnership that they want to uphold for other things that they're developing their GPU for, such as the VRAM that they're going to be putting into the graphics cards or other portions, and not necessarily that they're going to be contracting this responsibility out to Samsung. And specifically, there are a couple issues that I've seen in some of the rumors floating out there, like on this Tech Power Up article talking about how AMD is going for seven nanometers and Nvidia is supposed to go below 10 nanometers now, so Intel would have to use something sub 10 nanometers. And that's not necessarily the case especially since there's no uh, proper definition of what a nanometer design looks like. Like obviously as a unit of measurement, seven nanometers is a specific use unit of measurement. But when it comes to measuring how seven nanometers is implemented in a CPU, it's actually Intel's 10 nanometers is very much akin to the way AMD designed seven nanometer stuff. Like in AMD's seven nanometer CPUs uses seven nanometer production for the CPU chiplets, but then 14 nanometer production for the IO die. So it's not exactly seven nanometers, even though it's used in the portion that's doing the computing power, but not all of it is seven nanometers. There's actually specific parts that are smaller and there's other parts that are bigger. And the way that Intel measures their die size actually indicates that it's on par with TSMC seven nanometer production when they're at 10 nanometers. So Intel's not as far behind as it would indicate if you're just looking at raw number value. And part of that is that Intel was supposed to be ahead of everything Everybody. So 10 was gonna look really good when everybody was on 16, 14, and 12 nanometers, but they got pushed far behind. So now it actually looks bad from a marketing perspective that it's 10 nanometers when everybody's moving to seven because it's it's just bad numbers. Like they're, they're a high number, which means they suck more. That's the interpretation that people are taking, but that's not exactly what's happening here. So I don't really buy that explanation. It, if I had to guess what's happening here, Raja Kadori went to build partnership with Samsung. It's obviously good to see what other people are doing when it comes to uh, production in the market. And if they can help in developing the GPU in some way, it would be great. If not, it's just a friendly visit to Korea. I don't know. People are making much out of this matter, but what do you think? Do you think Intel's gonna contract out for their GPUs, especially with the fact that they've struggled with producing 10 nanometer CPUs? Curious to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button on this hot news clip. Get subscribed to stay up to date on these hot news videos, especially since this one's not gonna come out on the main UFD Tech channel anytime soon, maybe Tuesday, because it's a long weekend here in South Africa, but we're getting these done ahead of time so that everybody at the hot news channel is staying up to date, even if the main channel plebs don't get anything. They're plebs, all 224,000 of them. Wait, are we 24 or is it 42? Doesn't matter. You guys are the special ones. Get subscribed, bye.